Yeah, sorry about that. I'll, I'll stop the video by accident. I'll, I'll just continue. Yeah, so the N64 uh, was awesome. Um, I had a a you a new controller. It was very unique. It took a while to get used to used to because I had an analog stick in the middle. It had buttons underneath and it was huge, you know. But it was it was pretty good, like you know. That's where the the um the power brick goes right into it, you know. And that's the AV lead, you know. You know the great thing about the N sixty four is that the um the same AV lead that you that works in the Super Nintendo will work on here, so that's pretty awesome. But uh, you have to have um the official N sixty four power brick because I won't use anything else. And it's a big chunk hole there that goes right in there, you know. So uh, yeah, the N sixty four was awesome. Um, I have three of these, you know, because uh, they're, they're really cheap, and because uh, uh, I lost my first one, but I found it years later, and my second one broke, you know, because I, I dropped it down the stairs. It was a fucking easy, you know. But um, yeah, the N sixty four, I would highly recommend it, and um. It wasn't a failure by any means, but yeah. Okay, there, yeah. Thanks, thanks very much. Yeah. Thanks, there. about that uh, I'll continue yeah so the N64 was um, a great console and the door cheap you know uh, but the hard to console is uh, now so uh, yeah I really recommend it so that's it um, I said Doom 64, Super Mario 64, you know, um, Le Legend of Zelda, The Ocarina of Time, awesome games, you know, um, but um, we feel that if Nintendo had to use CDs like everyone else, it would probably be more successful and it probably, had a, it, it, it probably would have had a better library games, but it does have a great library games, it's not as big as the... Um, Sega Saturn or the uh, Sony PlayStation's library, I don't think. Because it took longer for the developers to make games for the cartridges, you know. Because CDs were just more easier and more practical for game developers to make their games, you know. Whereas some games on the N64 look blurry or something like that. That's just my own opinion, you know. But um, it is 64 bit. And um, it wasn't. Um, if they had a used CDs. It would have been better. It would take the N64. It would have done better. That's why they released the 64 DD. But like I said, that was a flop like the Mega CD. But uh, so yeah, that's it for the N64. Like, I would highly recommend it. There's no drama around it. You know what I mean? Like, like the Sega Saturn. Like, you know, there was no foot. But uh, it was delayed a long time before it got released. You know. Uh, but n n Nintendo. Did everything right with the system. The only, the only thing was the cartridges. You shouldn't use cartridges, but 
it's the last great games regardless. The, the, um, so yeah, what would you recommend? You're down 64, you know. Um, because there's loads of great games for it and they're cheap enough. You know. Um, and there's there's a different versions of the N64. This is the standard grey one. But there's, there's a, a Pokemon edition um, N64 is that a blue or something like that. And there's different sort of controllers. There's siege field controllers and stuff. So it has a lot of variety. And um, it didn't... It didn't last that long. It was only it was, it was finished in um, ninety nine, two thousand. So, but it had it is a great console. It's not a failure by any means. We actually prefer the N sixty four over the Wii and Wii U, and even the Switch. The in my opinion, the the N sixty four had just better games than the Switch does. That's my own opinion. But um, um, the N sixty four, like you know, like um, Two Rock Dinosaur Hunter is is an awesome game. Had loads of first person shooters. Which is why I like it so much, because four species here is my favourite genre, you know. So that's it for the N64. Uh, I can't think of anything else to say about it. Um, it's four player split screen, which was awesome. Um, it was an awesome console back in the day. Um, and I would really recommend it. So, um, yeah, there's no there's no drama surrounding it. There was no like, surprise launch like the Sega Saturn or anything like that. And, um, it was uh, cheaper than the Sega Saturn, you know. This the when the N sixty four came out in Ireland, uh, the um Sega Saturn was still going for five hundred fucking quid, which is ridiculous. Where you, you can get an N sixty four for three hundred, you know. So yeah, I mean the N sixty four was better value than the Sega Saturn in Ireland, you know. Um, but it was very it was delayed multiple times, but yeah, for for good reasons, you know. They didn't. So, do it and sh sh um, shady with it or anything like that. So that's it for the N64. Um, if you liked the video, um, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to um, subscribe, go ahead. So thanks very much. I'll see you later. Bye bye.